Now let's look at the problem from the other way around. Say we want to write down the quadratic equation with integer coefficients for which the sum of the roots is minus 3 fifths and the product of the roots is 2 thirds. So we should know now that when I expand x minus alpha, x minus beta, I get x squared minus alpha plus beta, x plus alpha beta. It's very useful to memorise that equation for these types of problems. So we have, if alpha plus beta is minus 3 fifths, we're going to have x squared minus minus 3 fifths, x, plus 2 thirds equals 0. So the minus minus 3 fifths can become plus 3 fifths x. And then you can multiply through, because you're going to need to make it with integer coefficients, multiply through by, well, 5 times 3, 15, and we're going to get 15x squared plus 9x, because that's multiplied by 3, that's multiplied by 5, so I get plus 10 is 0. And this is the equation uh, with integer coefficients whose sum of the roots is minus 3 fifths and product is 2 thirds.